All right, good evening. We are back for another uh, nightly reading with the Sally Lloyd-Jones books. We are in the girls' room, and so Daniel and I are in foreign territory. The pink one. It's quite lovely. Where's the... I was really liking this unicorn. I got it for myself. You bought it for yourself. Okay. That was a good buy. All right. So Sarah's going to start us off tonight. Comforter. Jesus said, I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. John 14, 16. God's spirit is called the comforter. Does it make you think of a nice comfy quilt? All cozy and warm? Oh dear. In the... Bayou? Let's say by... I have no idea what that word is. Bayou? Bayou? Bayou Tapestry of... Ten. Ten sixty-six. Mm -hmm. There's a knight on a horse, and the caption reads, Bishop Odo, Odo. Odo comforts his troops. Is Bishop Odo giving them nice fluffy quilts? No. Look, he's prodding them from behind with a stick. Not comfy. But Odo is spurning them on, encouraging them, urging them to keep going and not give up. Because comfort is, because comfort in the Bible doesn't mean to make comfy. It means to send help. When we want to give up, when we are afraid, God, sent, God sends his spirit, the comforter, to make us strong, to give us courage, to lift us up. Have you ever felt the Holy Spirit make you strong? Mm -hmm. Or lift you up? Yeah. Yes. But how about you? Have you ever? No? Mm. You don't know? No. Mm. Mm. Alright. Thank you, Sarah. That was very, very nice. Alright, Danny boy, what you got? David the Shepherd King from Psalms 51. 51. 2 Samuel 7. Paraphrase of Psalm 23rd, the Good Shepherd. David was a shepherd, but when God looked at him, he saw a king. Sure enough, when David grew up, that's just what he became. And David was a great king. He had a heart like God's heart, full of love. Now that didn't mean he was perfect, because he did some terrible things. He even murdered a man. No, David made a big mess of his life. But God can take even the biggest mess and make it work in his plan. I knew I knew I need a new heart, Lord, David prayed, because mine is full of sin. Make me clean inside. God heard David's prayer. He forgave David and he made David a promise. I will make you great, David, and one day a king would be born into your family, and he would heal the whole world. Did you know that David was a songwriter too? In fact, his songs were so good, they might have been in the top 40 charts if they'd been invented then. David's songs are like prayers. They are called the Psalms, and this one is called the Song of the Shepherd. It's probably number one on the Psalm charts. And it goes like this. God is my shepherd, and I am his lamb. He feeds me, he guides me, he looks after me. I have everything I need. Inside my heart is very quiet, as quiet as lying still in soft green grass in a meadow. By a little stream Even when I walk through the dark, scary, lonely places I won't be afraid Because my shepherd knows where I am He is here with me He keeps me safe He rescues me He makes me strong and brave 
He's getting wonderful things ready for me, especially for me, everything I ever dreamed of. He fills my heart so full of happiness, I can't hold it all inside. Wherever I go, I know God's never stopping, never giving up, I'm breaking, always and forever, love will go to. God gave David that song to sing to his people so they could know that he loved them and would always look after them. Like a shepherd loves his sheep, like a shepherd loves his sheep. And one day, God was going to do something that would inspire thousands upon thousands of new songs. God was going to show his people one, once and for all just how much he loved them. Another shepherd was coming, a greater shepherd. He would be called the Good Shepherd. And this shepherd was going to lead all of God's lambs back to the place where they had always belonged, close to God's heart. Good job, bud. That was good. Nice song. Yeah, I liked it. David's one of my favorite guys. He's a warrior. He's a poet. And he is not perfect. And I can relate to that. Alright. Well, what are you doing? thanks for joining us once again <laughs> with the uh, rainbow unicorn. <laughs> and Sarah, and the, uh, what is that, a Tootsie Roll? It's ginger. A gingerbread thing. Alright, God bless. <laughs>